Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're Sambo and joining us as always is Yogurt, our now level 15 Goblin Shaman. Say g'day Yogurt. Kazam! Shazam and Shazam to you guys watching from home as well and of course welcome back to this episode if you joined us in the last one you'll know we're here on this crazy looking contraption here which is some kind of goblin rocket way all the way around as Shari you can see it actually heads way off into the distance there and before we go any further a lot of you guys when I came over here in fact let's just mount up on our ghost wolf because of course that's one of our new movement abilities that we've got very recently allows us to get around very quickly which we like a lot a lot of you guys guessed that over there in the background very well and of course that is Gallywix over there exactly what it is well that will have to wait that's a bit of a surprise but we love it here absolutely love it you know it's been too long since we've been back here in Ashara and I just love the color palette love the graphics love the whole design of everything it is absolutely fantastic and I've been dying to get back here and give it a good go now before we do though I just want to empty up my anywhere. bags because pretty sure What's that? I think that's a two-hander, is it? Let's have a look. What is it? Main hand. Yeah, no, it's no good. So we'll get rid of that. All the rest of the stuff here is either quest items or things that we can actually pop on to the auction house. We can get rid of that one, I think. Let's have a look at our character. Yep, we've already got ourselves a better belt. I'm just going to pop all the stuff that's going on to the auction house. Woo! Aroo! Into its own, there we go, into its own little backpack there. And I'll put our quest items into another bag. So everything there is going to go on the AH pretty much. We've got our food, we've got everything all lined up. And help. while we are in a ghost form, and before we head down to our quests, let's have a couple of shout outs. You guys know I love that. And by the way, let's see if we can dance while we're in the form of a ghost. And we can. Can you guys see that? It is very cool. I know it's a bit hard to see against the background. Hang on, maybe if I go up a bit. There we go. Let's have ourselves a dancing wolf while we do a couple of shout outs here. And the first one is to Heat Sting1999. And they say, hey, can I please get a shout out to my level 85 Orc Death Knight called Devastation? You certainly can, mate. I've been watching Seraphis since she was a little level one. And I enjoy all of the Let's Plays. Keep up the amazing work you do. Well, thank you very much for the kind words, mate. I really appreciate that and a big shout out to your level 85 orc you know what death knights i love them and that's what my main is as well well it's a drenai one but i do love death knights hello again and thank you heat sting 1999 got another shout out here from i lol what and they say hey sambo i was just wondering what computer you have and if it is a custom built one what are the specs Oh, and do you buy the physical disc for games you play or do you download them? A couple of really great questions there. And the answer to the first one is there's an FAQ on my front channel page. So if you go to my main YouTube page, i.e. youtube.com slash SamboNZ, then you will see an FAQ on the right hand side there. And that lists all the bits and bobs that are in my computer. And yes, it is custom built. I didn't buy a Hewlett Packard or a Dell or anything like that. I never do. Always build your own computer, folks. It's not only cheaper, but you'll probably get better service and it will work a lot better for games if you ask me. And the second question there was, do I buy physical discs or do I download them? You know what? It just depends on the game. I'm actually a bit weird in that I really like having things on display. So I tend to buy things in a box wherever I can. I know it's a bit weird, right? Because generally it's more expensive, but I just like having something physical on the shelf that I can pick up and have a look at. I don't know. Just go figure. Let me know what you guys do, by the way way do you like that or am i weird like do you not care if you've got a box or not i'm a big box person same with my dvds and blu-rays and all my games i always buy stuff of course i never pirate stuff either when it comes to downloading stuff every now and then i'll do it maybe for an mmo i might download it or a game that i'm not really into if it's just a lot easier or of course if it's not available here in australia so i guess the answer to your question is i've got nothing against downloading digital games but i just prefer to buy the actual box go figure there you go so i hope that answers your questions i lol what finally we got one here from i smash 99 and they say hey sambo can i please have a shout out in the next video i just got into mmos wow welcome to the world of mmos and what do you recommend as being the most fun well that is pretty much the toughest question in the entire world um you know what lots of them are fun but what you probably want to do is get into one that's nice and easy and also get into one that is free to play at least for the first few levels so i recommend 
recommend either WoW or like what we're playing now of course WoW or Rift both games are superb and lots and lots of fun WoW will run on any old computer pretty much so if you haven't got a great computer WoW might run a little bit better but Rift is a fantastic game so either of those and of course you can try them both they both are free to play until level 20 so there you go I smash 99 certainly hope that helps answer your question and again welcome to the world of MMOs in the meantime we need to turn ourselves out of being a wolf hello oh and she's still dancing there we go hello hello her and her crazy dance let's have a look at our map and see what we've got in terms of questing I think they're all in the same spot and that pretty much is this place down here in the mountain foot strip mine now you might remember coming out of the gates of Orgrimmar here down to the left hand side there was a mine now we did check it out a couple of episodes ago we looked down into it and I said we're going to have to go down in there later on well that later on is now that's right we're going in there and you can see we've got three tasks actually first one is we have to slay greystone basilisks and they are basically crocodiles but they're the basilisks that are down here in the strip mine and it's called basilisk bashin 10 of those and we'll be done we've also got this one here a quota to meet where we've got to collect 20 mountain foot iron so basically that's 20 ingots of iron and that's from the mine in there and then another one here which is called stone cold basically in there the basilisks actually freeze the miners and turn them into stone that's what they do with their cold hard stone stair and that's why we want to kill them but the ones that are actually down there are basically stonified mountain foot miners and we've got to grab one and bring him or her back to Horzak Zignable which is here at the Orgrimmar Rocket Way Exchange which is where we are here so you can see we've got three tasks to do pretty much now uh oh uh oh uh oh I think I'm going to die if not we're going to be okay that's all right yes I planned that <coughs> cough cough just as well we've got our own heels right okay I want to turn into ghost wolf actually no before I do that I actually want to make sure our flame tongue is up on both weapons there we go and put my lightning shield up and now I can turn into a ghost wolf so we can run towards the mine a lot faster and you can see it off in the distance there and again folks doesn't this zone just look amazing I love it I love how they've redone this zone it is awesome just fantastic and of course it's a massive change up from what it used to look like back in the day as well although I must say I didn't mind it back in the day to be honest it was a little bit boring there wasn't much to do but I actually kind of liked it all right so here we go there is the greystone basilisk let's open up with a lightning bolt shall we there we go come on take him down storm strike primal strike and he's gone now we should be able to I think skin these guys and there we go yes we can and of course we always want to be taking our skinning up and oh it's looking like yeah level 39 now there's a stonified mountain foot miner now we'll do that at the very end but we have to take that back to the rocket way and of course the other thing we want here are these the iron ingots and you can see they're very easy to spot they look like ingots and they're glowing and sparkling so you can't really miss them now this explosive stockpile I have no idea what that is well that looks like we can destroy it I'm guessing that's actually whoa it's exploding there we go now that's actually kind of apt because it's actually the 4th of July where I am today here in Australia and of course that doesn't mean much in Australia but I do know that for you guys in the US of A it is Independence Day so happy Independence Day to all of my viewers who are watching this episode and I hope you've had a fantastic day with family and friends all right let's drop some of these totems as well if you've got them use them there we go and you can see it makes a big big difference to our DPS for a start increasing our spell power and again if you want to get rid of them just right click on the little buffs underneath your portrait now not only have we got the normal ingots to collect for the quest but of course it's a mine you can see it there the strip mine in the background huge big strip mine that means there is going to be without doubt mining nodes that we can use so that's great look at this we've got platforms all over the place it is so cool I love these areas gosh I love WoW so much all right open up with the lightning bolt let's make sure we've got our lightning shield up by the way We go level 12 we're level 15 so of course they shouldn't be killing us if a few of them were to gang up on us possibly things might get a little bit hairy oh and look at that we've got a Telrender saboteur as well very interesting and we made short sharp work of him there's no doubt about that
Oh, and look at that. He has put us to sleep. That's what they do. Basilisks do that all throughout the game, by the way. All throughout the game. Trust me. Give ourselves a bit of a heal there. So you've got to be really careful. If you can, silence them pretty much. It's always going to be something good to learn against the basilisks. All right, you horrible saboteur. Okay, can we see some more ingots? There's one right there. All right, 9 out of 20. We're not doing too bad. Let's hop down here. You can see the mine is actually very large, by the way. I'm out of range. Out of range. I'm sure he'll come running into range. And there we go. Stuck down halfway down the side of a cliff. Make sure our lightning shield is back up. Of course, that's got three charges on it as well. Only lasts for three charges. Easy. Six out of ten. Doing very well. And we're loving the skinning here. Because already, with the skinning that we've done here, you can see we're up to 44. Which is a big difference from when we started. All right, another basilisk. Oh, and a mining node down there as well. We'll absolutely be grabbing that. Thank you. I don't have a target. All right, skinning time. Up to 45. Excellent. All right, let's grab this copper vein. Get ourselves some copper ore. And again, if for nothing more than throwing it onto the AH for some extra bucks, which is always going to come in handy later on in the game. All right, so we need three more of these basilisks. So let's do that. And of course, we also need more ingots. We need, what do we need? 11 more of those by the looks of things. And getting lots of good XP for these as well. A hundred, even though they're a few levels below us. That's not too bad, to be honest. Not too bad at all. And in terms of our progress along the XP bar there, we are pretty much about, oh, 50, what does that say? 56% along. And of course, that's to level 16. So we're getting closer and closer. And there we go. Nine out of 10. One more to get. And we're done with that particular quest. Might throw a couple of bolts at this one. Make sure our lightning shield is up. I need to target something Easy, there we go. 10 out of 10. Done. All right, so what we need to do now is grab the ingots, I think. And then, of course, at the very end, we need to grab the miners, the petrified or stonified miners. Bring them back. Oh, ranged. Look at that, like a hunter. And we'll just head in there and finish her off. Easy. Give ourselves a heal just for good measure. All right, so we're looking for more ingots. And look at that, it's a very horde looking structure. And of course, whereas normally that would strike fear into my heart, now I am playing horde. For the horde! That's right. Thank you, Chris Metzen. Hands up who likes Chris Metzen. I'm a huge fan. Love his stuff. Love him too. He is absolutely fantastic. By the way, are you aware that he's written the most recent Transformers comics? That's right. Look it up. All right, 15 out of 20. I swear something. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, that blew up, did it? Right, that's what happened. Nasty. All right, we've got lots of them shooting at us now. I better hope that my heals are good. Let's drop some totems down just to be sure. That increases our spell power more than anything else. And, of course, what that means is that that is going to help us out with our heals because they're going to be more powerful. And, by the way, heals is exactly what I need right now. And I also need my lightning shield. And I have to heal myself up again before I take out this third one. That spell isn't ready yet. And let's go in and finish her off with some melee. Oh. There we go. All right, so you can see we can have quite survivable skills as a shaman, as well as do very high DPS, by the way, later on. That's why I love going enhanced, because you get the best of both worlds in the early days. And of course, later on, we shall specialize in resto as well as enhanced. So we've got super effective DPS, very akin to a rogue, if you ask me, by the way. The attack speed and stuff, it plays a lot like a rogue. That's just my opinion. 
and you've also got the heels on the resto. Right, I think we need to go up that platform. I can see a number of ingots up the top there. That'll be fun. Go for a bit of a jaunt. That's right, you do not stand a chance. Oh, now what have we got in there? We picked up something. Shattered crystal pendants, no. Do we get ourselves a belt that's better? No, and I'm being attacked again. Got a hunting bow, of course we can't use that. Okay, yeah, where's that coming from? Oh, I see you. I see you down there. Not sure how I aggroed them, but anyway. There we go, more heals please. And look at that, healed us to full health. Great stuff. All right, so we're gonna head down here and go up the ramp. And that's to get four more of these mountain foot iron ingots as well. Oh, we got sundered before, didn't even notice that. Here we go, there's some. I don't know how many this will give us. Two, that's all right. Oh, and look at that, how handy. It actually knocked us up the flight of stairs, or up the ramp rather. That is awesome. There we go. You can see, like I said, very fast-paced melee combat when you're an enhanced shaman, enhancement shaman. Highly recommend it. It's one of my most fun classes to play. All right, there we go. 19 out of 20, and of course this is going to take us to 20. And we're done. Now look, all we need to do pretty much is grab one of these stonified miners as well. Whee! So let's see if we can find one of them around. Found enough of them coming in. Of course, now that we actually want one, I bet you I'm not going to be able to see it at all. Entering combat? Fine. You want to fight? And a fight is what you shall have. Hey, you asked for it, lady. You asked for it. I do believe that that grunt there was coming to help us. That's very nice. All right, so let's keep out a lookout rather for these stonified miners that we're after. Oh, nasty. And we've got the saboteur on our case as well. That's right. Again, you asked for it. I wasn't looking for a fight. I was just passing through. All right. And that's, our, oh yes, our leather skinning has gone up to 49. Great. Okay, here we go. A mountain foot miner. Here we go. And oh, I remember this. Look at this. This is hilarious. We actually have it on our back, which is classic. And done. I love it. Oh boy. Oh, and more combat, is it? Yep. Jeez, these things are horrible. Oh, look at that. They're going to interrupt our skinning as well. All right. Let's go back and skin this now. Thank you very much. Thank you. And look what I can see up on the mini map as well. We've got a few more copper vein nodes. There's one right up ahead, but um, yeah, we're going to take down this guy first. He will absolutely aggro on us, there's no doubt about it. Yep, done. All right, more skinning, please. Thanking you. All right, copper vein, and then I think we're going to make our way back. Now, can we go back up the ramp that we came down? Yeah, it looks like it. Let's help out our friend over here, though, first. You're welcome. All right, that still cracks me up. Look at that, running along with it on her back. Absolutely hilarious. All right, now where am I going? We're looking for a ramp. Maybe there isn't one. Oh, did I run past it? I did too, look at that. Duh. All right, up we go. Oh, and entering combat, what's that? Oh, a basilisk, okay, fine. All you're doing is throwing money at me. Throwing money at me for the skin on the auction house. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome to attack me. Ah, ah. Oh, bit of lag there. Not sure what's going on. Now, I'm not going to try and shapeshift into ghost form because I've got a funny, horrible feeling that that would make us drop our miner there, and that would be very bad. 
So we'll just run on our little old normal legs. And of course the Ghost Wolf does actually give us a slight benefit. You can see there on the tooltip it says we transform into a Ghost Wolf, increasing movement speed but making us unable to use spells or abilities. And there we go, Stonified Miner. Delivery has been completed and she says, oops, I think she dropped it. Whoopsie. Now first things first, let's see if we've got any repairs or we've got stuff down here. Are they only up the top? Might only be up the top. Oh, yep, just managed to get on there. There we go. I want to go and empty up my bags. Well, I, yeah, I think these guys can repair as well. Yes, they can. Look at that engineer. There we go. Repairing all. Selling off our grey stuff with my wonderful ad on there, which is called a sell o -matic. Just in case you guys are wanting to get your own copy of it. It is a great add-on, and I highly, highly recommend it. All right, that bow there we can sell in the AH. That's a nice green item. Light hides we definitely can sell in the AH as well. We'll pop them up there. There we go. All Come done. Back anytime. And give ourselves a heal. We know we can survive that because we jumped down before. All right, let's go handing in now. Foreman Fisk. Yeah, hello, yeah. hello. What's happening? Did you get my shipment together? We sure did. 20 of the ingots. Well done. When it comes to iron, always pick quantity over quality. Yep, probably around, dead right friends. there. There we go. 875 XP and a bunch of bilge water cartel reputation as well. We like that. Let's have a chat Don't to Horzak Zignibble. And he's got a couple of the quests that we need to hand in here. Stone Cold. Well, well, let's take a look at what we got here. Horzak examines the shattered remains of the poor petrified miner. Bah! Crumbly! Useless! Wouldn't even make a good countertop. My miners may be mediocre workers, but they make lousy bricks. <sighs> well, I suppose we should refleshify these guys so I can get some return on my investment. There we go. Now he's given us another quest here. Look at this. The perfect prism. There's got to be a way to reverse the basilisk's stonification. Those irritating night elf saboteurs who have been lurking around my mine must know something we don't. They seem to be immune to the gaze of the beast. I want you to find out their secret yogurt. Pick off a few of the Telrendrus saboteurs skulking about in the rear of the strip mine and get a sample of whatever charm or ding dong they're wearing to give them their immunity. Radio me from the main forge building once you're successful. All right, so that's nice and easy. Acquire a crystal pendant from the Telrender saboteurs in the mountain foot strip mine. Careful we can absolutely do that there. for you. Go, go! And here we go, basilisk bashing. We've got to hand this in. This is one where we actually killed off all the basilisks there. Good, good. One less nuisance to worry about. And we've got to get ourselves 875 XP. And look at that. We have leveled up. We have now reached level 16. Congratulations to you, Yogurt. Woo! Awesome. That is awesome. That is fantastic. There we go. And you can see we've got ourselves a new ability here. If we go into our spell book, which is P, if we have a look down here, we should be able to see somewhere. I think it's called, there it is, Wind Shear. Now, we do have to go to our trainer to learn that. It doesn't just appear. But you can see this one is very cool. And it, in fact, is what I was talking about down in the strip mine before. It's an interrupt. So interrupts a spell being cast by an enemy. And this is super handy, trust me. Best used to prevent enemies from healing or using high damage spells so we definitely need to go and train that up in Orgrimmar at some point in fact I may do that off camera for you guys all right so I just want to double check that there's no more quests around here before we have to head back to the strip mine we are running out of time but that's okay let's have a look at our map and yeah we just have to go get that pendant we'll run there and see what happens we've got about three or four minutes left so we might be able to knock this one out or at least get over there to be able to be in a position to start it next week anyhow oh, it's seriously i love this zone i love it and it's really huge by the way it's really big i don't know why it feels it's probably not actually as big as some of the zones in terms of the actual square footage but it just feels really big now I, by the way i know i'm running the wrong way but i just want to grab this copper vein here because you know what it's money it is money for the ah oh and we're entering combat already fine if it's a fight you want it is a fight you shall get and we're probably going to aggro this other one as well. Yeah, there we go. Funny that, isn't it? All right, put up our lightning shield. And they didn't stand a chance. It's their own silly fault, if you ask me. And a couple of skins, which is awesome. So it's XP and skinning, which of course means gold for us. Plus, speaking of gold, the original reason we came over here was to grab this copper. And our mining has increased to 66, which is fantastic. 
All right, now we need to head, oh, and there's more. Although that looks like it might be up high, might be just out of reach for us down here at the moment. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, gonna get into another fight. There we go. And yeah, looking around, it looks like that is up the top there. So we'll leave that alone for now. We are looking for these scouts out in the back. I think I have to go up the top and then back around and down, which maybe means more, yeah, more aggro. So I'm just gonna attack him anyway. Give ourselves a bit of a top up heal. And there we go. Oops, better not forget to skin him and loot him. Okay, oh, and look at that. Look at that, a copper vein. Money, money, money. Love it. Oh, did I get that? Yes, I did. Okay, now, we're looking for these Talrendus. Oh, there's one, the Saboteur. That is exactly what we're after. Let's see if we can pull them over here without getting the actual croc over the background there. Come on. Come on, come and follow me. I'm going to run away so that he deliberately follows me. So I can get away from the crocodile there, the basilisk. I need a target. Alright, does he have a crystal pendant? A shattered crystal pendant, not an... Oh, I see. So that's what the shattered ones are for. We need to find ourselves an actual whole one. Very interesting. All right, now you can see I've got an ancestral tunic there, but it isn't very good for us, unfortunately, but that's okay. What it does mean is that it's sellable on the AH, and we're okay with that. Although I do notice down here, we've got primal wraps of stamina, and they are leather, which is good for us, but yeah, not quite as good as what we've got as well, and we'll throw them on the AH at the same time. No problem. All right, so I think... We're going to have to keep fighting these Telrender saboteurs until they give us a non-shattered crystal pendant, pretty much. It's okay, we've got a couple minutes left. We'll just grab these ones in this area before we wrap up our episode and maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, look at that! We got lucky straight away and got one. Alright, I'm going to shift to Ghost Wolf and let's see if we can hit... Oh! There's a quest over there! What's that? Very interesting. Use the headquarters radio in the main forge building. Oh, in the mountain foot strip mine in Azshara. Oh, okay, so that's how this works. So we don't actually have to go back. Ah, well, that's perfect. Who else is having a go at me? Oh, good lord. You want it? You got it. I need to target something first. That's right. All right, ghost form it is. And let's race into the headquarters here. Actually, let's take down these horrible saboteurs anyway because they're painful and they deserve to die. Oh, we got some tiger's eye from that as well. And of course, that's always good to sell on the AH. Good for crafters. Oh, they don't like coming over to us, do they? Hello and goodbye. Oh, and look at that, we've got ourselves another green weapon, Spiked Club of the Monkey. Now that's two hand, so no good to us, but we will absolutely sell that on the, geez, we've got so much stuff to put on the AH, it is fantastic. Love it, all this money that's basically flowing in. All right, let's get into the main headquarters here, and I think this is where we shall wrap up. Leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger, and we'll see what this actually is all about in the next episode, where we probably radio in there. There it is, headquarters radio. That's where we get to radio into AH. HQ and find out what he wants us to do with this shattered pendant. In the meantime, on behalf of myself, Sambo, and Yogurt here, and now level 16 Goblin Shammy, it's us saying take care. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then, and bye-bye.